It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see Tremaine Edmonds, who really led his defense last week with a 10-tackle game. It's the Bills and the Raiders. The Raiders defense ready to go to work here on this Sunday night, and the one we'll be watching is this man at corner.
Into the air right away is Allen. And incomplete to open things up. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now Allen. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby make that now eight sacks for him on the season. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. They may be looking to bring some pressure here as they've got this offense backed up. First and 10 at the 10. On first down, Allen got it complete to Khalil Shakir. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that will bring up second down. And they run with Harris off the option. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his Allen on third. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. It's certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping to... The Vegas defense back on the field. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Open man, complete downfield to Davis. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Allen now on first down. Shakir holds it in. But he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. To throw again on second down. Allen got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's brought down. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Their guys have the lead here in this first half, and they'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and ten from the 45. On play action, Allen. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Chandler Jones, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone of the race. Defense delivers a score. And Parker, it took him a while to get there, but that's the first trip he's made to the end zone in his career. The Vegas defense back onto the field. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Man open, that's complete to jump. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Oh, 
so they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defense is talking about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. To throw, it's Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Throw right side caught by Davis. And the Bills are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Now Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Dalton Schultz, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills are back within a score. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him in. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Throwing on first down is Allen. It's brought in by Harris. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Now a throw here to his running back. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This is third and one, very likely four-down territory even if they don't get it, though. From the gun, it's Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have a chance to tie the game here in the final set. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They just got the benefit of a beautiful punt a moment ago. So this offense backed up down by their own goal line to start this possession. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Trying to escape the shadow of their goal post. That helped 10 yards, first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off. Usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. He's a gain of 17 yards. And the Bulls are scored. Now a first down carry for Harris. Up past the 30, second down coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. On second down, this is Harris. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Play action. Now it's Allen. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there. And it'll be fourth down. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Here's Allen on first and ten. Completes it to Davis. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him ten yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Allen off the play fake. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. They need to block the ball. Offense. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They've been the better of the two sides so far. They've got the two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they try to see this one through to the finish. On first down, Allen. It's complete to Diggs. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, this one caught by Davis. His big day receiving just keeps getting bigger. He's over 200 yards now in the afternoon. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And again, it's Allen. It's caught by Davis. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Allen, and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on now when needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Throwing is Allen on third. Caught right side, Davis. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 23. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Now Allen again. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 
Coming up on a second and six. Allen now looks to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Here's Allen. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Allen. He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Now Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. No gain on the play. And that'll set up second and goal. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Throwing is Allen. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Raiders have just about sewn up this football game. Just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talk about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play, and they got it right there, partner. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on.
It's Madden NFL 23, and at center stage, it's the Raiders' athletic corner. The Raiders' defense out there for this opening possession. They were winners. Come out throwing here to start the drive. And his first look is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Man coverage is 
certainly a staple of their defense and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They're in a somewhat unenviable position here to start the drive with the ball already up near midfield. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Buying time to his left. Incomplete. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 43-yard line. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. He'll drop to throw. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Gets around him. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The numbers for him from a week ago, 16 carries, 54 yards, and a touchdown. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They'll try to force the stop here in the second quarter of what's been a scoreless game to this point. Ready. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Here's second and eight. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Max Crosby in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. They lead 7-0. Trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. They go play action here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Dancing away at the 35. And that's going to be good for Chargers first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. They're going to look to throw. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The Vegas defense back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And this one too low. 
Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best. Their arm. He's he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. They'll get to the line here, but remember it's also third down. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Try to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove, and what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't play cards. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. On the double. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They've got the upper hand in terms of field position as this drive starts inside the offense's 10-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. It's Williams on the catch. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second and four. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. A five-yard gain on the play. And the Chargers first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby, his second sack of the night. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. On second down, Eckler. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Intercepted by the Raiders. They'll take over first and 10 at 
The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. They started on the ground with Eckler. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. He'll look to throw. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. Plus of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Right in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone. The Vegas defense back onto the field. Okay, ready? They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brian. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. The offense on third down tonight, just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and nine. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continued. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Here we go. Here we go. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll look to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They'll set up to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll look to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to see. He's got a man. 
incomplete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Back to throw again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. That's going to be a first down. Well done. They'll look to throw again. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Raiders pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. For the winning team here, Charles, that's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. While you Meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And Brandon, I just have to ask you, that's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers, the whole deal. But my question is, how does one team come ready to play and the other one, obviously, not ready at all? Well, I mean, I obviously don't have an answer to that, but that was the story from the get-go. One side was awake and ready, and the other just seemed to sleep. So for Las Vegas, the win gets them back over 500.
It's week 10 of the National Football League. And at center stage, it's the Raiders' rangy quarterback. The sun is set in Chicago. The temps have dipped and will continue to do so. Jacket and blanket weather. It's that time of year at Soldier Field. Tonight, we polish off week 10 with a good Monday night matchup. But the Raiders defense ready to go and in good form. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commend. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. A nice little juke. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards into Chicago first down. They'll go option to the short side. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just shy of midfield. Fields. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They keep it on the ground again to Stewart. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Fields now to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Fields. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board. 
The Vegas defense back onto the field. And they're playing with a lead here in this first quarter as this drive gets underway. On first down, it's Fields. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back, and he's playing it in a route really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Here's Fields. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Their guys have the lead here in this first half, and they'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And again, back to Komet. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. Fields to Komet there for a Chicago first. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A huge play there for Chicago. 44 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bears have come back to make it a two-point game. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. On second and 11 now, Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much of the catch. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Now it's Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football. On first and ten, here's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Throwing again is Fields. He finds his man complete. It's Casey. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Going up top. 
And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's oh, check in with our awesome. referee. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. To throw his fields. He's going to let it go again. And this one is incomplete. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The partner guaranteed they approached this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to... The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. Fields on first down. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Baker Mayfield leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. From there, we head down south to Tampa to check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Leonard Fournette, what a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they were winners in that one over the visiting LA Chargers. Dalvin Cook, two touchdown runs to lead the way. On now to a check on the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And they've had all sorts of... Pass the halfway. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They hold the lead here in this third quarter, but every drive important in a one-score game as this one begins first and ten here. Looking to get the ground game going with Stewart. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Throwing on third down. Fields. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. First down, Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down, they run to Stewart. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Stewart again. 
Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Back to throw. Fields. They'll set up the screen for Stewart. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. The Bears on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and four. Now Fields. Throw left side is taken in by Stewart. And he will have the Bears first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Looking to throw. Fields. Throw left side complete. That's Stewart. And the ball is knocked out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. A shotgun snap. Fields. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Fourth down. Fields has to have this one. He finds his man complete. It's Casey. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they wind up with a game of 11 there on fourth down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First down throw, Fields. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On the option right is Fields. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. Touchdown, Bears! Devontae Parker, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The Vegas defense back onto the field. And they'll begin by trying to defend a first and 10 at the 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Fields now to throw. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That one goes for 30 yards. Out of the gun, Fields. Complete, it's Johnson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On 
second and one. Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Fields. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Touchdown! Cole Komet from 13 yards out. And the Bears have come. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. to throw fields connecting with Johnson and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down now fields flushed out right Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. All eyes on fields. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They're going to run. This is Stewart, and he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. finish in this one Charles you know this group they come in they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap they get the late score they get the victory and that flight home it's going to be a little sweeter after this one and Brandon just like you I was fired up for that last sequence how about that wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game winning drive big time moment no one shied away from it they tuned out the crowd kept their heads and executed the way they needed to to earn that win so for Las Vegas, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at
It's week 12 of the National Football League. And at center stage, it's the Raiders' athletic corner. The Raiders' defense rested and ready, coming off the open. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Again, it's Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Field now. Here's Ryan. And he wisely will throw that one away. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They've got the 3 0 advantage here as this next drive starts. First and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Now 
now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Yeah, he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now it's Ryan. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Ryan. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll go again to Jones. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now Ryan. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. They'll start by looking at a first and 10 at the 25. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground turned in on it and stopped him. Mike that down for a win in the defense's column. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field, I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it. The Vegas defense back onto the field. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say oh, you, hey. Mr. Referee? Okay. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. He's going to pick up the hook. Yeah, he's going to have the hook up to QT. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down, Ryan. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Bob, this is searching for the first touchdown this game, partner. And that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage. The Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. They've been the dominant side so far, working with a two-score lead here in this third quarter as this next drive gets underway. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. They'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Now Ryan. That ball caught by Slayton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 39. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. To throw is Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete here. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Again on second and 10, it's Ryan. Got an open man, it's QT. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 22-yard line. Here's a give to Jones running left. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Jones again on second down. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 13-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. On third and one, Ryan. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Second down and goal, Ryan. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And it's a Packers touchdown. Kiki QT, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. The Vegas defense back onto the field. On first and ten, it's Ryan. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but some far offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing to trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Five yards, now it's third and five. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start 
of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Ryan. This one swung out here to Jones. That'll give them eight that time. And it's third and four now. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be fourth down. On the give, this is their fullback. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Ryan's throw brought in by Watson. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Play action, Ryan. Touchdown, Packers! Darius Slayton, 31 yards. And the Packers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two. Here the, the Raider defense ready to defend this next possession. First down, Ryan. Pass incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. To throw once more on second and ten. Ryan, quick slant to Watson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Ryan. Got his man on the crossing pattern. It's Slayton. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Ryan. Once again, he finds Slayton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. He completes it to Jones. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Ryan to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit... Sphere this was and the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead, 
that home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So for Las Vegas, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, it's a loss that sets them back in their playoff push as they fall to 6-5. and five. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings.